It's a huge mix of emotion. I mean, it's the end of our trip, but it's also our return in Quebec after five years in Edmonton. So this is, uh, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. Were there any parts where you felt that you were over-prepared, under-prepared? Um, not a, um, we've been told that the big lake would be a challenge when the wind picks up, there can be really big waves, but you cannot expect how big those waves can be. And I was really stressed by the fact that I have my five years old in the boat with me. I'm like, if we flip, if we flip, that's bad. But I was freaking out way more than him. He was having a blast back there. I was the only one a, a bit stressed with that situation, yeah. I guess Molly, actually, what was your favorite part of the trip? <laughs> in the big waves. <laughs> the big waves, huh? What else did you do that you loved? Fishing. Yeah, you learned how to fish. And, and swimming. Swimming. You know, he can swim without his life jacket with a lot of effort, but he can he'll survive. Well, you're not quite done, right? I'm sure you're moving to Gatineau? Yeah, we are, actually. We decided to paddle to Montreal because that's where we're from. That's where we left five years ago. But uh, my husband's got a postdoctoral in uh, Gatineau, and I'm going to be working probably at the Mountain Equipment Co-op in Ottawa, just like the, uh, my previous job in Edmonton. So how will you be getting to Gatineau? <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not by boat. Our car is waiting for us. I can't wait to sit in my car. <laughs>